G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today, about Wally Shelter on the Bibbleman Track. Let's show you. Now this one has been renovated, which means it's been extended at the top. And it's got two benches now underneath the shelter part here. So plenty of space to sit. And there's another one outside but they've actually extended the bunk beds in here it used to be big enough comfortable for about eight and now looking at it we're probably looking about 14 to 16 would comfortably fit in here we've got two water tanks we've got one on that side and one on this side there you go remember if you're using the water only use what's necessary for you because it's rain water tanks, it's not connected to the mains so the further into the summer we go, the less chance there is there's going to be water in it now what we're going to do is walk down to the dunny, down to the toilet <coughs> excuse me uh, these are drop toilets, composting they're not flushing or anything so you can only really put down there the toilet tissue none of your rubbish or any chemicals and ladies if it's that time of the month you need to take them back home with you unfortunately they can't be dropped down there because anything other than natural tissue or anything that doesn't compost will ruin the compost and it'll end up stinking and full of maggots and flies but what a view walking to the loo this is one of the furthest toilets from the shelter I've ever seen. But like I said, it's a fantastic view. But in the morning, if you're heading north to, to south, this is where you'll come out from the shelter. The track continues just up here on the right. <coughs> Now here is the dunny. Always remember to bring toilet paper because there's not always going to be any. And it looks like somebody's made a bloody mess here. Got the empty one outside, I'll pick that up in a moment. Oh look, it's spoilt. That's toilet paper in this one. Let's hold it back up a bit. There we go. And that's it, just a toilet. <laughs> like I said, it's non flushing. No chemicals. And remember to close the lid when you're finishing the door. Uh, that'll help any of the wildlife <coughs> falling down there. I imagine sitting on the loo with the door open. And that's your view, hey? Loo with the view. And the actual track continues just past here. If I remember rightly, so. There it is. So it's difficult to see, especially in the morning, you walk straight past and go all the way down there and you're way off track if you think you're going in the right direction. But it's this way. There's the dunny there, and there's your track heading south. I'm just going to see, show you where you can pitch your tents. The last time I was here, there was no actual designated pitches, but there's plenty of room just past the shelf on the other side. I'll turn you back on when we get there. There we are. Shelter behind us. We've got a fire pit here. Uh, somebody did the wrong thing and had this large log just balancing in there. Let's burn that. You've got a nice bench around it. And another picnic bench here. Oh, there's your view. 
And you've got all this area there. You could pitch a tent just over here. Give it, get the rake and fit one there. And these two trees here. I found that was perfect for me to have my hammock on. And these two here, they look good for a hammock. And also you could pitch a tent underneath. If you follow this little track, you get some more fantastic views. And a load of granite areas that you can pitch a tent. Over there, oh look, they've actually designated a tent site there now. So this has been cleared, that's a nice one. Over here too. Decent size, big enough for a two person tent easy, maybe even squeeze a three person tent on them. Another one here. Another one in with a scrub there. Just to give you a size reference, you could probably fit uh, probably a four or five person tent there. That is a, a palace if it's a two person tent. Let's carry on down. Again, look at them views. And here, yeah, I mentioned in my old video when I came here, there was a big giant fire pit made down here, here, a couple of them, which you're not meant to do. You gotta use the uh, fire pit up by the shelter, and then at certain times of the year, you can't use that when the bushfires are a high chance. But this one here, look at the size that you can get three or four two person tents here. Carry on walking down. We haven't finished. Space is here for another two or three tents. Two comfortably, one on either side of the tree. And one down the bottom. A nice secluded one away from everyone. Right. Isn't this just beautiful, quiet? Now I'll go back up to the shelter because there's two benches where you can sit on and watch the sunset, and we'll just sit down. Watch the world go by. So I'll turn you off until we get there. And here it is, just past the fire pit. Let's walk through here. And you've got a nice wooden bench to sit on. Just to watch out. Watch the sunset. And this was my favourite one in the morning. I've come down here when I stop here at night to do in the morning and I just sit on the bench have a warm drink and all down there is just full of mist it looks mystical, it's beautiful <clears throat> and that's Warwick Shelter on the Big Woman Track uh, a few of these shelters are being renovated, made a little bit bigger. So some of them are looking really nice. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you'll be notified of all upcoming videos. Hit the like button, the thumbs up. And if you are already a subscriber, Again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.